Chinese director Peter Ho Sun Chan brought his new film Dearest to the Toronto International Film Festival this year. It's a story about child abduction and China's controversial one-child policy. At the festival, he spoke with the Wall Street Journal's Barbara Chai. This movie is a drama. It's a fictional story, but based on a real-life mm -hmm. case of child abduction mm -hmm. in China. So what were the seeds of inspiration for this movie for you? It's because I saw a half-hour sort of news program that featured the story that the film is based on. And basically, it's, it's completely based on fact. And the characters are, are there. And at the end of the movie, I actually show the documentary that I saw. Uh, footage from the documentary that I saw that uh, two years ago, and it was so moving and emotional, with great characters and also with incredible twists and turns. I seldom make movies about um, news events and news stories, and this is the first time. And then I knew immediately after I watched the documentary, uh, the news program, that I had to turn this into a movie. I've been saying this for a few years now that. Uh, because China is interacting with the world more and more, I mean, uh, in the last few years, and as China is interacting with the rest of the world, there are more and more misunderstanding of what Chinese are and what China is, you know. Uh, and, and I think it would only be fair uh, for Chinese, for the world to see more real, reality-based Chinese films so they know what is the Chinese economic growth. because. Uh, China is no longer just a contained country on its own. Uh, there are Chinese tours everywhere, and everyone have Chinese neighbors. In cities like Toronto and Vancouver, definitely more so, but not just this, everywhere, even in Los Angeles, in New York, in every major city, it's hard not to find a Chinese neighbor. And there are a lot of misunderstandings on you know Chinese traditions and Chinese cookings and the smells and everything like that. But But it's all about understanding each other uh, instead of racial profiling. And, and I think the more people see, uh, I mean, because film is actually the most uh, uh, popular kind of contemporary literature, uh, that it's not too highbrow that people would need to spend a couple of days reading a book. It's just two hours. And, and it, it would give more understanding to each other's culture. Uh, so I, I think that on that respect, uh, if more Chinese films that are based on you know, contemporary lives could be seen elsewhere, that would be great.